Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay is an amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we have been on the LZ Alpha, this glorious, glorious rock for nearly 530 cycles. Now, nearly 531, actually. And I've got a level with you guys. I am scared. Right now, we are facing a whole bunch of issues. Let's start up over here in the uh, in the hotel, shall we? Uh, first thing you should note. The game is paused. I, I am that scared. I am that scared. Let's press uh, Let's press F4 here. You can see that there is a mix of wonderful gases down here, very few of which are actually oxygen. Now, you might be aware that oxygen is quite an important thing to have in the areas where your duplicates are hanging out. Now, this shouldn't be a problem because we've got this little oxygenator area up here, but if we have a look, of course, we've got no liquids coming into it. Let's go have a look down at our liquid delivery area over here. We've got two places where the liquids come from. Let's start with the one going down because that's the one that's probably easiest to explain we come down over there we come down over here and we get to these salt waters you guys might know this this is an area that we have been working on uh, i say working on this is an area that we've had on the periphery of our working environment for the entire game uh, it's kind of just been ticking over not really doing much but not really doing much wrong either apart from now it's very needed, and the fact that it's ticking over slowly is uh, a bit of a problem. What's supposed to happen is the hydrogen from this area, minus 21 degrees, comes down through this pipe here. Let's uh, F7 this. Comes down in spits and spats because of the way the power's going. Uh, down this way, uh, does a little bit of a, 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 a chill over here, trying to bring down the water down to a low enough temperature that we can just pick it up with the liquid pump. Uh, get it desalinated, turn it into gases, etc, etc. Of course, the problem is that the hydrogen coming in, I mean, we've got literally 59 grams of hydrogen coming in, trying to deal with uh, over a kilo of salt water. Salt water can hold as a specific heat capacity. Let's let's go and have a look. Uh, property here can hold uh, whatever 4.1 means. <laughs> okay, whereas hydrogen, which is inside their gas pipe has half the specific heat capacity. I had to go dig into the database there. It didn't want to let me get to it pretty easily. So yeah, it has about half the specific heat capacity. So uh, the fact that there's like so much more mass and there's not much gas and there's like that, uh, it, it's really slowed down the process over here. So that's something that we need to, to have a look at work on. Coming back up to the water, we have got this other way that we're coming in from over here. This, of course, is our hot steam vent. Big problem. Uh, we've we, we're dormant. That's the big problem here. That is the big problem. Uh, the other problem is, of course, this whole setup up here is wrong. It's just wrong. Uh, we need to try and move some of these wheeze warts down here. We want to pre-chill the water before it comes out towards this ch uh, chilling area. Because at the moment, minus 20-something on the chill is just a little bit much. The water that's going in there is freezing. Uh, but that's that's not a big... That's the, the, This is dormant for the next... 26 cycles. We're not really going to be able to do anything there. And this is my conundrum right now, is I don't really know how to solve this. Of course, with the lack of oxygen, it means that we can't put people inside atmospheric uh, suits, which means that we can't get them down here to produce the petroleum, which is my kind of plan with the infinite uh, power that this petroleum will end up bringing. Uh, and also, of course, all this molten lead. But with the power that the, uh, the petroleum will end up bringing, if we can fix it, uh, we will be able to, like, brute force our way of this out of the situation but right now that just ain't gonna work so i suppose we have but one recourse it is of course to uh disable where are we disable all the atmospheric suits and uh let's see who has and hasn't got so mad frank has a uh, a suit there more importantly does miss a line she is someone who likes to run around and do some stuff uh, i want to actually keep all the way down here an eye on this door this door as you can see has got a bit of a problem i'm gonna just immediately do that and go like that uh, and also i think one of our storers our searchers um our gophers, shall we say, uh, are also equipped. So let's have a look. Mimi looking very good. Let's let a Mimi through. Um, is that the beginning of the cycle? No, that's the end of the cycle. That's no good. Uh, so we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what happens next time as to who we're going to allow go uh, allow to go through that bottom door and who we're not because I want to build this little chill system here. Now, steam... Yeah, we're just going to move straight on to this. Steam has a, uh, a, a thermal conductivity here of 1.84, uh, which is pretty good. We're trying to... Why are you still turning over? 
Hey, no, stop, stop. We, we, we have totally turned that all red. Okay, cool. Uh, the reason that I have turned that off is because we have recently eaten through all the sour gas that got le leaked into this area. And now, if we carry on doing that, all we're going to be doing is destroying the steam that we have down here. And we want to get that steam underneath these steam turbines so that we can also then, if I get a little bit of ventilation on the go, have this thermoregulator. I totally haven't forgotten the name because we never use it. Uh, we're going to try and use this thermoregulator to cool this area down. Then we're going to have to try and pump some hydrogen in because steam, of, all, of course, that's the point I was trying to get to, doesn't exist above 100 degrees and these will not work above 100 degrees. So, uh, you know, a small mismatch of pro uh, properties there. We want to try and flood it with hydrogen because it's the best gas for the job. Uh, steam is actually a little bit better, but as I say, 100 degrees. Yeah, okay, that should be a good original setup. Let's also grab a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, power wire, of course, being this stuff. Great, great commentary there. That's that's what we're all here for, is that amazing commentary. And uh, now in the morning, we're going to wait and see. You know what? I'm going to do a P9 here. Ahem, a little bit much, I know, I know. But we're going to let that happen anyway. Just so hopefully Mad Frank and Jelly can get down there. All right, let the, uh, let the beginning of the day um, stutter happen. And let's see who actually ends up. Ooh. Oh, I, 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 made, I made a mistake here. Uh, but that's fine, that's fine. This is, this is all stuff that's going to get sorted out. So people are coming along and dropping off atmospheric suits, but not picking them back up. Uh, yes, okay, fine, I suppose. Who, who, who is out and running around? That's, that's the big question here. Who is out and running around? Okay, Forrest, no. Uh, he does not have one. Jelly, no. Okay, that's that's fine. He also doesn't have one. Who have we got over here? Shroudicus, you are not the man, really, but that that's fine. And over here, Mad Frank. There we go. That that's the man we're really looking for. Uh, so let's uh, let's also put Shroudicus on this list. Let's do it. Let's do it. And maybe he can come down and uh, help make this uh, a, a working facility. Maybe I hope. Of course, we do have this wonderful constant supply of polluted uh, ox uh, polluted water. Sorry, uh, I kind of feel like we don't want to touch it though because it's keeping our pinch of peppers turning over, and it is such a small amount that I think turning it into water and trying to pump it in here would actually be a bit of a waste of time. Maybe I'm wrong there. I am quite often, but uh, it, it, it could be, could be. He's still asleep. He's still asleep. I'm like, come on, man, Frank, let's go and do some stuff. Maybe, maybe he's just found his place. Isn't that too bright for him to sleep there? Oh, he's found the one dark section. Look at it, look at it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. He's at stamina 100. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, he's awake. Okay, go, go, man, go. Oh, uh, look, Shroudkus has got down here before, man. Frank, beautiful. I love that. I love that. Hopefully going around and doing a lot of the important jobs that need to be done. Uh, mostly the delivering. Uh, all these people that aren't the, like, the, 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 the specialist builders, you know, the ones that do it in half the time and stuff like that, uh, they should totally uh, just be delivering. Uh, on, only those specialists want to be actually building. Of course, one of the things I am wondering, we're going to be, like, cool this down to drop all the water out of the atmosphere. I'm just going to uh, And uh, once that's out, as long as we're not boiling it, will there be thermal conductivity between the uh, between the, 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 the steam boiler here, the steam turbine, and the radiant gas pipes? Like, if there's vacuum, does it still conduct? Does it need the gas to get go between the two solid objects? I actually don't know. Oh no, oh no, why are they going this way? Um, I'm not, I mean, they let a bit of steam out. I don't know whether I want this to be the thing or not. We've literally just got rid of all the sour gas. Let's uh, let's keep an eye. There is little bits. I'm not that bothered about tiny, tiny little bits. Uh, what I am bothered about is if this now disgorges a bunch more. No, we're good. What was that noise? Ah, oh, we're not good. We're not good. That's going to be building up again. Okay, we're just going to close access to all of this. Uh, no, we're going to close access to this. Maybe let them through here because because of the steam already there. I'd like to get this crude oil picked up as well, but I believe it to be just a little too much liquid. Yeah. Oh, oh, shroud. Oh, going to cook like some sort of chef. Ugh. Nice Mimi is getting stressed. Why is that? She's got low morale. That's a, oh, she's only got 8 out of 12. We're going to have to try and do something to make her a little bit better. They're still making loads of steel, though. Oh, love it. Love it. This system, this, this, this is the only bit of the whole base that I'm proud of. I've got to be honest with you. That's, that's a lie. But, but yeah, wow. Uh, talking of bits of the base that I'm proud of, we should definitely come up here and start thinking about how we can move some other things around up here. This is obviously going to end up splitting people's times, but I think we can live with that. The big problem we're going to have is uh, keeping... The, well, you know what? It doesn't even need to be kept up and connected, does it? Because uh, we, uh, we're we not running it right now. Not running it right now at all. And also, I'm going to take uh, uproot three of these end boys over here. 
and then allow them to be replanted over here. All right, Shroud of Curse is back on the job with Mad Frank. Beautiful, beautiful, loving it, loving it. Where, where are you actually going? Oh, you're putting these piece, pieces in over here. Can we put people in here? We can, that is good. I was a little bit worried that actually I'd restricted the movement to this little area inside here as well, but no, that's good. All right, I wondering uh, if we can disconnect. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Where is the auto here? We're gonna have to disconnect this boom like that, else we're never gonna be able to get inside. All right, end of day one. We did all right there, actually. We did all right. I think people can still jump up and over there. So I'm going to uh, get rid of those uh, those ladders. I'm going to leave this one in just, just you know, for for access. Uh, it's, it's not ne technically necessary, but that's not going to stop me doing it. And let's also then come up here and have a look at what's going on with the suits. Right, Luna, I need you to actually, if you can, uh, move over this way. Uh, does anybody else actually have a suit on that they don't don't need to be wearing right now probably probably we'll try i'll try and pick them up during the day uh, th this is where i actually want to try and deliver another one too if i can at some point because that totally shouldn't be empty okay shroud curse you're our next man if you could also move over here thank you probably want to let him you wash his hands first that that, that would probably work out quite well for him wouldn't it jelly you actually want to move via this one if we can and i'm gonna get you to Drop your suit there, and Mad Frank, I want you to move up here, go. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so maybe I can restrict people's movements here. If I go Mad Frank, no, uh, and do that on all of these, then I can make sure he gets a suit, right? Yeah, that's that's a plan anyway. No, oh, I feel bad. These guys are all running around being like, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, ah! These guys are constantly pumping stuff out. It's not good enough, though. <laughs> Oh man, people stole all the suits already. Look, you come over here, Mimi, and then maybe Mad Frank can make an escape. That that would be great if we could do it like that. That would be super good, actually. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying to keep Mimi. Like Mimi can just like run down and get out of there almost immediately when she takes her suit off, right? Because it's gonna take a little while to re -jig No, it's not. Okay, uh, Mimi, no, move all the way over here. Thanks. Let's see if I can make that happen. Let, let's see if we can... we got to get Mad Frank out. Ah, oh, dude, dude. I mean, that's great, but you got to go. you got to go. Ah, Frank, move. This... Oh. Mimi, stop. Go. Mad Frank, go. Okay, cool. we got someone scolding themselves. Shroud's good. What? What? Okay, that's fine. It's not, but I see what's happened here. Um, We need to move you out and then we need to take you off the uh, off the commands when we're down there and then we'll find out who it is that oh, oh i know i know the water's really hot i know the water's really hot i don't know i i, I really should have been paying attention get up and out and take you off the de default access all right who who has got a suit on that's the name gonna have to do this every day Ugh, every day okay forest you've got one let's come down and put you on the build crew uh Forest, you're in here somewhere. Okay, this this is gonna get a little tedious for the days, but uh, it's definitely a necessary. Oh, it's legit. No, oh, it's legit. Okay, let's put you on here as well. Good work, buddy. Good work. Okay, it's hydrogen stealing time. We're just gonna do a little bit, like say over here. We're gonna steal that. We're gonna run this gas pipe. I'd love to run it all the way. Ooh, 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 hey, what happened there? I'd love to run it all the way down, but I feel puncturing some of these extra layers will actually be more trouble than they're worth. So let's come over here and run it down this line here. I probably should totally be doing this in an insulated gas pipe. Yeah, let's turn this off. Okay, this is literally just to put inside this system here. So if we uh, grab a gas bridge now and pop it like that that should now fill this up well once it gets built that should start slowly start filling it up with uh, scavenged hydrogen we're not really making too much more hydrogen so i'm a little bit worried about this but we'll, we'll see how it goes down of course whilst all that's been kicking off i've been just sat here uh doing all the little jobs that i said i would do over here trying to get all the power lines hooked up together in fact we might want to cancel no we'll keep that one we'll cancel these bottom two and then we can run the the power line as i believe yeah across the bottom here and then we'll take all this out afterwards. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Look at this. Let's get rid of that. Uh, just queuing up 10 more still. You never know. Going to need it at some point, right? All right, that's the end of another day. Got to come down to the door. And of course, remember to turn everybody off of here. There we go. Right, beautiful. Scolding? What? Jelly, what are you doing? Come on. Get, get, get out of there. Get out of there. I presume you're making deliveries to all of this. 
both Jelly and Shrouticus could do with uh, an overnight stay in the in the triage. I think we're going to allow this. You know, we totally could advance some people to some more exosuit wearing. People like Miss Align. Let's have a look. 14 out of 9. 14 out of 12. Perfect. What about my boy F Mad Frank here? He's actually 14 out of 12 already. Why is it? Because we've done both the digging and the construction. Totally should have saved it for the exosuit wearing. Anybody else like massively under spec? Like Luna over here. Massively under Spect. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. We got there. We got there. Uh, just, just gonna go around and check out a few of these people that just probably could do with being an exosuit wearer. Oh, Cubic, what have we done here, man? What have we done? Oh no, no, other way around. That, that's fine. Whew. Okay, so we've got Mad Frank, we've got Mimi, and I didn't see who the other person was. Uh, let, let's just go through quickly. Uh, it wasn't Cubic, wasn't Miss Lion, wasn't legit. It's gonna be someone. It's Forest. Okay, Forrest and Mimi are the other people to put on the on the pass through here. We've mostly been cruising through today's uh, today's cycle. We've got uh, most of this pipe in place now. That's pretty good, and we've got almost all some of this track. I was going to say almost all, but no, no, we got we got some of this track being put into place. Of course, it's going to get a little bit more difficult when it needs to come down through here. What with uh, Mad Frank seeming to be the only person who actually wants to work on this. Everybody else, of course, is going around doing some other things that they find are more important, like uh, creating the oil up here. And stuff like that for Mimi, but uh, I'm noticing that Luna might actually be a little bit in trouble here. So let's uh, let's have a quick look and see somewhere in here. We we got some pretty severe wounds. Let's 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 just pop her up over here. Oh, she is assigned already. Why aren't you coming up? There's the nine. Go 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 go. Yeah, that's better. So I totally need to make sure that this is also on a nine, right there. There we go. It needs, it needs to be a much higher importance. Much higher importance. Oh, look at this stuff going down. Love it. Oh, it's hard just watching him go point down, pick up some materials, point up, place the materials, point down, pick up the material. It's just over and over and it, oh, it, it, it's painful. It's really, occasionally he does some building like this, but most of the time he's just delivering. Where, where are his helpers? That's what I want to know. Where, where are the assistants here? Just gone through and turned the time that these lights come on to a bit later, because quite often I see people getting up and they didn't really want to. I mean, like, look at Legit over there. There's no way he actually wanted to get out of bed. All right, hopefully Mad Frank's now going to run straight through. All right, beautiful, beautiful. It turns out Cubic also on that line, but uh, who was the other person? Who indeed was the other? I bet it's Mimi up here again. No, okay. Uh, it's Forrest. Forrest always seems to be jumping out early. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, today's permission set. Let's let it roll. Oh, that petroleum's getting hot there. Look at that, 268. I don't know at what point this over here, it says 90, but you know, we're, we're very cool, very much cooler than that in the local environment. Coming through at 180. Hmm, things to keep an eye on. Oh, look, we have a blob of ice that's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger down there. What happens if we uh, drop down a, a ladder and say, hey, can we sweep that? That should help, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, uh, come along and uh, put it in here, which will increase our water stocks. Fingers crossed. All right, another day down, and we've got the majority of the pipe down here done, and I am proud to report that we got all of the pipe up here done. We just need to start getting this lot, this bottom bit done uh, so we can start pumping the gas in. Luna still uh, troubled from yesterday, and today's casualties, inv oh, wow, include a whole bunch of people. Let's go with Miss Align first and see where we can go from there. Forest is always the first to jump into an atmospheric suit, but never one of the ones to take it off properly. What are you doing coming and using the toilets over here? I mean, like, cool, but what are you doing over here? Okay, I'm gonna move Mad Frank's bed. He's gonna come up here and be like, there. Okay, so we've had next to no sleeping time since I last spoke, uh, moving Mad Frank up here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he comes up... Mimi, don't... Just, just, just don't. Just, just don't. <laughs> Please, we got we got more important for people than really need to grab those suits. Oh, I know, buddy, I know, but it's wake up time. Come on, let's go. I've got the 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 um, ceiling lights turning on with the with the call to work now, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I believe that to now be the gas pipe done. Let's have a look. Yep, we are full on stealing. So this is now going to split into two directions. Uh, probably going to cause some problems down here until this pipe fills up. Uh, but that that's fine. That's fine. Uh, these first few that are going to come through are definitely going to cause, uh, going to be quite helpful. Uh, we've also got a gas element sensor down here he hooked up to a gas vent because, of course, I want this to select for hydrogen. Yes. Okay, here comes the gas. All right, it's coming in. It's getting chilled, which uh, also is pretty good. And then it stopped because of no power. Ah! 
<laughs> okay, here we go. We've got some more flowing. Okay, we've not quite got enough to be a continuous circle here, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Wow, that, that hydrogen has really spiked up just like instantly. But that's what we're here for. We are here to cool this down. Beautiful, beautiful. Who's scolding? Don't do this. It's Luna. Why are you? Well, I suppose that's fine. Um, getting yourself a little bit burnt so that you can come along and do some fixing. Uh, it's a minor sacrifice for the greater good, right? Also, let's get back up to this triage cot over here. Hey, who else needs, uh, I mean, like, Jelly and Mimi, as Luna's in the middle of actually doing herself a damage, so we'll, uh, we'll wait and see how bad that gets, right? You know, I have a feeling I wanted to put a not sensor in here, uh, so when it's not, yeah, 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 let's do it. When it's not hydrogen, uh, it's gonna output. Let's, let's try and make that work. So we're coming in at 210. That is shockingly hot, I've got to say. And we're coming out 190. Oh, man, it's losing 20 degrees, but wow. And then it almost instantly comes up to full full heat. Oh, this is going to take a while. I mean, it kind of is going down, but oh, so slowly. And then when the hydrogen stops flowing, it goes back up again. Ah, oh, this is, um, I mean, it's great, but it's going to take a while. Oh, does this not let it flow past now? Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. We're going to deconstruct that. Uh, we're going to deconstruct the wire behind it, and then we're going to have a little outflow pipe just coming up. I do want to insulate it. Thank you. Coming off over this way, and then we'll have a gas pipe. Okay, let's let's try that instead. Oh, it's still wrong. Okay, all right. Fine. Um, we'll just destroy this for now, and then come up with another method. Ever become scared by the fact that you might be depleting your entire hydrogen supply? I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, there, let's have a look here. It seems to be going okay, but how do we know? It's like down to singular grams in here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super worried. To the point where I think I'm going to destroy this gas pipe as well, and then it should stop things flowing out and it'll come back over here. In fact, we might even want to get rid of this one as well on the way past. Uh, and that way uh, we, we can carry on. We got, we got enough hydrogen in here to at least get started with, and then we can figure out a better loop for it as well. Okay, this is good. Mad Frank and Forrest coming down doing a little bit of work down here. I'm a little bit worried about how much sour gas and molten lead we've got down here. But I've got a feeling that when we start running all of these systems, uh, that will all uh, sort of pan out in the end. The, the sour gas, actually, big, big issues, maybe. Big issues. We'll see what we can do with it. We do, of course, want to fill it all with steam underneath here so that we can try and get the steam turbines turning over. If I was to go ahead and enable these buildings, what do we reckon is going to happen? I reckon they're going to complain about being over temperature because there's still steam in there. Steam of 200 degrees by the looks of it. Steam of about 200. Yeah, look, the steam's lost at least 0.8 of a degree there. <laughs> okay, with this... No, that, that wasn't quite why. Right. Can we have it open, please? Let's try that. Uh, open, go. I um, don't know who's going to come down and do it. Forest, in fact, is. Good man, good man. Uh, then hopefully the steam is just going to flow under? That's... That's my hope. There's a lot more steam than there is sour gas, so we'll we'll see how this works out in the end. Hopefully with the water just be the water, the door, sorry, being wide open, we should see some good things happen here. Uh, displacement, guys? Displacement? Let's have a look and see what's going on. Maybe maybe we did actually want to run this a little bit longer, the crusher. Oh gosh, maybe, maybe. I'm having a look at this now. Nothing is turning over. I mean, that's mainly because temperature is too hot, above 100 degrees. Uh, but, mm, yeah, that's not great. That's not great. Let's turn this back off for the moment and see what we can do about it. Okay, it seems that over time this might end up being a little bit unnecessary trying to put these doors back down here uh, as there appears to be a bit of a mix going on. Starvation, you are kidding me. What? Okay, I thought so. I thought so. Don't... Don't be doing that to me. We have got food, surely. Yeah, look at that. The hundreds of thousands of calories. Whatever, guys. Whatever. Oh, we got a problem. Oh, we got a problem. Forrest has come down here without his atmospheric suit on. So let's send him up and out because he's not the man I want down here. Uh, let's turn everybody off. Ah, the people that I don't want to have uh, atmospheric suits have atmospheric suits. The people that I do want to have them don't. All right, so this is a bit of a problem. We're going to have to try and work through it individually. There are... Oh, let's, let's have a look. Mimi was definitely one of the people, and Cubic was one of the others. Let's come down to here. Cubic, my friend... Oh, no, it wasn't Cubic. It was Legit. There must have been overlap. My bad. We're going to send a Legit down this way. Um, we're also going to send Mimi down this way. I don't know how we're going to make this work. Why doesn't Mad Frank have it? I don't know. He should have... He shouldn't have been able to get out. Ah, uh, there we go, because he's down here. 
fair enough. Okay, so, so hopefully somewhere around this situation, if we actually try and... Yeah, yeah, this works, this works. Because Mimi can just escape in any direction she likes, whereas the suit needs to get charged up. So whilst the suit is being charged, they will go around. I was kind of expecting Legit to come along and steal that first one off him again, but that's fine, that's fine. And here goes Mad Frank trying to do the work that we need done. And of course, Forrest has super hurt himself. Miss probably super hurt herself. I, I, don't, I don't even know what's going on with this. It, it, it's a terrible day for the duplicates. It's quite good for the base, though. Well, it looks like we've dropped a whole four degrees in here, which is uh, it's going to take a while at this rate. going to take a while. We've got something weird going on here. I set up a bunch of doors to try and crush the sour gas again, but now, for some reason, this crude oil is not keeping the pressure up. I'm kind of fine with that, but it is going to slightly mess with my ability to destroy all the gases in here because all that sour gas is just going to end up down below hmm how did this happen i'm assuming somehow the pressure is being lost over this side but is that even a thing in this game i don't know okay because we're super brutal there is a baby in our path and we're not gonna we're not gonna put up with that oh no 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 because these things grow up they grow up to be giant pinchy crab things and we're not about that because they they hurt my guys and i'm not after that not after that at all i wonder how many times in history that kill them whilst they're a baby so they don't get us when they're older reason has been invoked and caused just hor horrors just absolute horrors I should imagine quite a lot. Okay, I think that's everything in place now. Let's have a look, make sure... Ah. Oh, that's that's literally going to be impossible to reach. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that one and then try and put these next two pieces in place. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. I knew that was coming. You're going to just override your night time. Come, come and fix this wire. It's literally the last piece we need to make sure that we can get this running. I'm li I just want to run it twice. That, that is it. As soon as we can just open and close the door twice, I think we're going to have a wonder here. Okay, we now want to have a red distribution of about that and some something like this. We'll, we'll go very... Very short times, actually. 10 and 10. And that should, hopefully, as long as I've set this up right, open all these doors at different times from each other. Let everything come flooding in from both directions. You can see the gases moving here. It's the purple gases that are important. Can't see them in front of the doors. But what, then these two close, trapping all the gases inside. Slam, closes, deletes everything. And, and, and is that it? That, that might even be it. Oh, we got a little bit over here. Look at this. Four kilograms. We're gonna we're gonna let this just turn around a couple of times until there's not four kilograms there. <laughs> okay, one cycle later, we're down to seven hundred gram or oh, one thousand six hundred. Alright, that's that's pretty good. So definitely less than half is there than when we started. It's been deleted. Let's let all the doors open up and see if it gives us what we're after now. Hello. All right. Yeah, cool. This is this is going to be good. All right. I'm a little bit worried about the steam coming in and getting deleted, but whatever. Whatever. We can live with that. Okay. We've now got steam on the other side, so we want to turn this off and off. Maybe we want to turn it on all the time, actually. Yeah, on all the time holds all the doors open. Okay. that That's cool. And now it should just let the gas flow, right? Gas. Gas flow? Anybody? Anybody? I think the gas is about here, and the steam is about here right now, and let's see, it's it's just not complaining. I was expecting it to go, oh, your steam is not even hot enough, or your steam is too hot, or the environment is too hot. Oh, in fact, that is the only thing it's complaining about, because the steam is to toasty warm, toasty warm. All right, cool, so we just need to get just need to get these temperatures down a bit more. Okay, so whilst this is cooling down, let's come up and check to see what's going on with the steam gun. Oh yeah, this started up as well, by the way, guys. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Was this ever producing water? Let's have a quick look. It goes up and it stops. Why has it stopped? Is it because this? No, that's a gas, gas shut off. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's been disabled. Let's enable that building and make us just a little bit of fresh water because that's going to be helpful. Anyway, as I was saying, let's come up here and have a look. So we've got not enough steam and also the temperature is too low. That's fine. That is absolutely fine because this is still dormant. But what I want to more see is the fact that these have all been laid down here and the pipes have indeed been uh, set out a little bit better. All right, that's cool. Is this really the order we want them going in though? Oh no. Let's go see what's going on with Luna. Hey, how are you doing? Let's see. You're doing all right, actually. You're doing all right. I presume you're delivering... Uh, over here, you are delivering a whole bunch of, of uh, iron ore. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so we just emptied... All right, all right. I just emptied out all of the hydrogen that was in this line into this line here. And I'm now wondering whether we can get some of the hydrogen being vented out if and when that is a need be. I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five... In fact, let's do it right here. We go down 
down one and then suddenly across one. And that is the same number, right? We were on the T-junction one output. On the T-junction one output. Okay, that should... I, I kind of would rather it went this way now that I stop and mention it. But that should hopefully give us a, uh, a situation where it doesn't know which way to send it. So it's going to send it both ways? Oh, no. Oh, no. Miss Lide is in big, big, big trouble. Uh, is anyone going to come and help her out? Rescue friend, Miss Lide. Okay, that, that's cool. That's cool. Somewhere along the line, we have big troubles there. Ooh. Uh, when did she take her exosuit off? I have no idea, but thankfully, we get by around here. A little, little help from our friends. All right, sweet. That is super good work. Oh, I'm glad that they, people can actually go around and do that. And Miss is just like, no, 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 I ain't getting in bed. I need to breathe through a bit. Don't you know that I was just immersed in carbon dioxide before I woke up? Now I need to get a breath. What? What's, what's the bubbles about? That That's a thing. Slime lung. She's got so much wrong with her right now. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's all right, because she's under the care of the Doctor Captain Subs. Ugh. Would would you want anyone else with any more monikers against their name? I mean, let me know. Let me know. I have no idea if moniker's the right word. Yeah, the first thing to note during the building of this process, in fact, I don't know, is that we just... I was about to say, I don't know if he's building this or the gas line, but the uh, we are using a normal gas vent. This means that, as you can see, it's going to be overpressured almost all the time. The reason that I've got this set up like this is, of course, we need to crash the, uh, the steam out of the equation first, which I'm hoping will start to happen soon. This automation wire actually gets down below 200 degrees every now and then. I'm wondering whether, with Mad Frank coming in and out, it's also a little bit of a problem. But with this set up like this, I should be able to now destroy the door, maybe... Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Maybe sweep all this stuff up. I'm a little bit worried that they're going to move the crude oil up. Uh, if we can get it put here instead, that would be amazing. Let's go up and turn off the uh, the priorities for up here. I may have even destroyed them. No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, yeah, they have definitely been turned down, though. Where is... Oh, I was about to say, where's my normal slick? But we've got another one there, so let's not worry about it too much. Yes. Yes, the split happened perfectly, exactly as I wanted it to. Ah, that's that's great. That's wonderful. Uh, so, at some point, we're going to need to feed some more hydrogen into here just to make sure that this has, like, you know, some backing up. Uh, and then we, this will be a self-contained unit as soon as all this gets got rid of. And maybe let the water out. Maybe let the water out. For those of you struggling to fathom why I'm using this terrible thermoregulator rather than just dropping the uh, aqua tuna down in here, uh, the crude oil is incredibly hot. Incredibly hot. Too hot for us to even drop a thermal aqua tuna into to start the process up. That's why I'm trying to use the steam to uh, to come down and drag the, the, the temperature out of here before we can actually go ahead and uh, immerse the, 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 the aqua tuna in there. I'm getting super excited that every now and then one of these uh, items here will drop below 200 degrees centigrade, as if that's getting close, but of course, that is so far away from actually finishing. So the whole lack of water thing is really doing us in, so I'm going to bump this up by two degrees and just let that flow. I, we're literally only going to get this single flow before it goes like, nah, and, and becomes far, far too hot. Uh, but we'll, we can hope. We can hope that this will actually just fix up a whole bunch of stuff. And more importantly, send a whole bunch of hydrogen. Because the hydrogen is definitely the issue right now. We're getting, like, overheatings happening over here. Because we don't have enough hydrogen flowing through the veins. Yeah, almost instantly closed again. 62. Uh, 52, sorry. 56.2. Oh, I can read today, honestly. <laughs> just gonna, uh... Get... Get, get some of these ice temperature shift plates on the job. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> oh, look, someone picked up the uh, the ice that we had down here. Is it now over here? Has it melted? No, it's it's somewhere else, though, isn't it? I bet it's been dropped somewhere or something. Is it in amongst this group? Ice. There we go. Sweep that up if we can. In fact, what I might do is come into here and just for a little while be like, everybody go with that for a sec. Okay, here we go. Vast amounts of snow and ice in here. In fact, it's not vast amounts of snow. That's going to melt almost instantly. Of course, we need to wait until it gets it's a plus three. Oh, no, it, it went. It went. All right, cool. Now, of course, this minus 10. That's going to take a little while to, uh, to cool down or warm up. Warm up, I suppose. <laughs> One thing I've been ignoring is these poke shell molts. We can turn them into lime. That's just good because it's one of the things that we are missing for our steel production. But I wonder what the difference between the two molts is. This one's five kilograms and this one's ten. I assume baby and uh, mother and child? Who knows? Who knows? 
Okay, let's let's see how long this lasts. We're uh, we're coming just to deliver the item first. I uh, then gets con constructed. That's good. But look at that temperature. It's already gone up 0.1. Is it going to go up anymore? Yeah, 0.3. We're currently in 300 degree environment or something like that. 200 degree, sorry, environment or something like that. So it'll be uh, very interesting to see how this works. The fact that we've got this door letting in all the heat. Yeah, that that kind of lets me down a little bit, to be fair. There's got to be... Oh, oh why, why would you do that? There should be zero red... Why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? There was no reason to open and shut the doors there. Okay, let's just turn it up to maximum. Mad Frank running away from a build job. What is this? What is this? Temp shift play. Let's uh, yeah, instantly changed. Instantly changed. Okay, a bunch of construction supplies there. But with this water coming down, this means that we are starting to bring yeah some temperatures down. We we totally could enable these buildings. Dr. Captain Subs, why, why are you scalding hot over here? It shouldn't be scalding hot over here. It should be cool enough. It's probably a bit of a, a hydrogen issue still. Yeah, very much. Very much. I'm just going to usurp the, uh, the the order to make this work quick. Uh, because I would totally like this to be turning over when that temperature shift plate gets put into place. We're currently a little bit too high because as you can see, uh, 110 degrees is indeed over 100. But I, I want to know what happens when we put this down. It should suddenly spring up into action uh, and maybe we can start processing some of the liquids underneath. That'd be great if we could. And then it would like flood out a little bit more water and then that'd be the beginning of a, a sort of a feedback loop. Of course, one that doesn't actually take into account the generator itself. So we'll have to try something a little bit stronger with that. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh, power for the grid. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. That that temperature is definitely climbing, but it, it's doing all right for the moment. So, oh, look. The whole steam has fallen down. Yeah, yeah. This is nice. Now we're flooding it with hydrogen instead, and I'm not sure exactly what temperature we're at. Mm, 90. It's not ideal, but it is a system. I'm a bit worried when this door gets open next, it's going to completely flood this area. So let's try and think about this. Actually, we want to move this door down one, right? Uh, we cancel that. We destruct this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we will. And then we'll destruct this one over here. Uh, we'll put a insulated tile in its place. Uh, and then another one there door oh, wrong button door goes in like that and that should make a little bit of a heat lock there hopefully the word hopefully is always good here right let's deconstruct this and try and put in a insulated tile instead i really can't believe how well this is working i just had to put some ice on the wall who knew who knew the fact that it keeps touching this uh this door here and flashing up into steam does slight slightly worry me but i think we're all right i think we're all right the real question of course is Am I going to be able to get in there and turn this one on? Uh, do I want to? That's the next question. Now, let's just let's just leave this like this and see how it runs. Oh, it definitely looks like it's cooling down this crude oil just ever so slowly. And that's fine. That's fine. I really wish it kind of told us what type of gas this was here. Unfortunately, we've got nothing to give any sort of overlay. Even on the materials, all we can see is the door. And I think I kind of want to leave the doors here for a moment. Uh, just in case, just in case. But I'd really like to figure out if there is a way of uh, turning this back on. I think I think we might even go as far as two more ice. Yeah, let's do it. Two more ice templates. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, yeah, we have just hit to the point where the turbine is too hot, D dude. Dude, there's, there's much more important jobs to be done here. What are you What are you doing? Why is this not being taken care of? I mean, Jelly's on this one, Aaron, so that's cool. I don't like how close to the end of the day we are, though. There we go. All right, well, that's a shame. Okay, we're totally going to try this again. I notice all the uh, the steam has fled itself here, uh, so that should be fine. It's kind of up in the air rather than being out uh, on the side. And that, that was that it. Mad Frank, really, there's, the, there's all this stuff everywhere down here, and you're like, no, 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 I'm going to run away and do it elsewhere. Okay, fair enough. 
It's not fair enough. Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, so then we go definitely want to do is if this is uh, below 100, then you can have a green signal. If it's not, then no. In fact, I might even go down. No, we'll, we'll go with 100. Oh, it's real. Here comes the building of the uh, ice-based temperature shift plates. Though I do always forget how long it takes to actually make a temperature shift plate. I am wondering whether the two of them with their powers combined together might be able to shift some of these temperatures down quite far. In fact, what temperature is the hydrogen inside of here? Uh, I don't know. It's so inside the pipe is 120-ish and outside is 130. So maybe we can bring both those temperatures down very, very far this time. That would be great. If this could also be turned on, do you reckon we can steal someone who's not lunar? Okay, Jelly will do. Uh, I don't know what else he was doing, but let, let's see... That, that's fine. All right, all this has turned into steam. Still a bunch of water down below, though. I don't really want the water to escape too much if we can avoid it. Okay, so this should now also be... Okay, everything's disabled. Wait, wait, wait. If above 100, if below 100, green signal. Why are you not... Okay, I see what's happened here. Let's go 110, and we'll just make do with that. Why is this all flooded over this side? That's that's not great. That's something that's got to be worked on. That is, of course, the ice temperature shift plate, but that's still... It could be better. You know, it still could be better. You know, I'm just going to crank this up a few more degrees. Let's see, let's see what happens when that happens. Uh, a little disappointed with how much steam this isn't producing. How much, sorry, uh, efficiency this isn't producing. Uh, I presume that's because the steam down here is too too low then why had we got we got to get this one unflooded that's that's the big problem here we've got to get this one unflooded oh right, here comes mad frank right now hopefully he's gonna do something about that hopefully maybe <laughs> we can hope right we can hope i mean i'm just gonna i'm just gonna run him back and forth amongst this door a little bit just to just to keep the water flowing if we can i really want this to get unflooded i, I really want this to be unflooded come on come on man frank your, your job's not done yet uh that might have been a little too far just to keep the door flowing uh we, we're getting there though we're getting there so the long and tedious job i think i think that's the one way i can sum up today's episode long and tedious jobs how can we legitimately be losing all the water from this tile here yet still be flooded over there that that's disgusting Okay, how about we try opening it underneath the yellow alert, and then before this drives us insane, turn that off. Okay, so the, the temperature differential is still a thing, but I just I want to stop that building being flooded. Yeah, I think we may have achieved something here. May have indeed. Let's try and tidy this up and see what happens. I've got a feeling the moment I sweep up this water or mop up this water, we're going to have to put down another, ooh, I say, another ice uh, temperature shift plate. But that's fine. That's totally fine. Ah, we nearly got there. We nearly got there. So it turns out this isn't good enough. Empty pipe? Wait, 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 what? F7? Uh, I suppose so. But, I mean, if we, could, if we could get the temperature of that of that hydrogen in there down nicely, just, just below. The problem is, of course, we're coming in at 106 and we're leaving at 119. That's 20 degrees being picked up somewhere. Maybe whilst we're at it, should we should we make some wolframite ones over the top of here? Yeah, that might that might actually work out. I would really like uh, this one, of course, to be the high priority. You know, I've been playing around with these temperature shift plates. I've of course completely forgotten that they are um, quite useful in this sort of situation. Let's make them out of uh, not iron. Where where is something very conductive? Yeah, these few bits of diamond we've got. I'm gonna put them. One there, one there. Ah, oh, no, that'll do. That'll do. We're gonna do put them like that. I don't know where the diamonds at right now, so it's gonna be interesting to see when the people have to bring them along. Uh, but I'm hoping that all of the temperatures from the crude oil will get dumped in the steam up here, because whilst at the moment it is happening, it's not happening very fast. Oh, it turns out the diamond is in here. Okay. <laughs> So we brought this crude oil temperature down from 330 to 280. Yeah, we're, we're definitely doing the job as specified here. Okay, so 106 is where we start getting issues on this side. I wonder at what point this one starts having problems as well. I bet in about 115. Oh, yeah, instantly. Look at that temperature go screaming up there. Automation wire and mecha me mechanic sized airlock. I don't know why I've had so much trouble with that this season. Uh, both jumping up to the 215s or so. These are both going to be like, yeah, we got to get it on. I totally lost track by what, getting excited about the uh, the diamond shift plate about when this one 
decided that it was going to start turning off. Uh, it, it's below whatever temperature it's at now, so let's turn that down to a 12. Okay, we've got an interesting one. Uh, Matt Frank had left a delivery to this ice plate here uh, overnight, and as you can see, we're getting very, very close to it like melting here, and I want to know what happens, whether we lose some temperature at that point or what. Okay, Luna comes along to refresh that temperature. Okay, so unfortunately, we didn't get to see what was going to go on there, and unfortunately, Luna Corp, it's a very slow builder when it comes to this sort of thing. Let's come up here and do a couple of other things. I have set up this other uh, gas bridge over here. I was just stealing a little bit of hydrogen. That's now stolen all the hydrogen I want. Uh, so we, we should really let it go back over here before this starts overheating. Uh, let's hopefully have that on a high priority. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Down here, I had a little bit of a problem with the ventilation and the... No, not the gas filter. It was a liquid filter. I so very rarely use these. Uh, it was overheating, so I'm going to go ahead and put a steel one in. Honestly, I don't know why it was overheating, but overheating it was, so we'll deal with that. But here we go. Ice shift plate has gone down. Uh, instantly, we've got ourselves a whole bit of water there, but it doesn't seem to have chilled us as much as I was expecting. That's a bit of a shock, actually, if I'm to be honest. A bit of a shock indeed. Well, I can only assume that is down to the fact that we have new test, uh, temp shift plates in the background, but, uh, sharing out all the uh, all the temperature and making it so that with no point do we actually drop below uh, 150, uh, 100 degrees, in fact. But next time we will be going through and making this liquid loop uh, up and working, so I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. Hey.